Thank you. Yeah, the the match was uh, kind of what I expected. Tricky one. Taylor, I think, played really, really great from the start. The first set was very tough, very close. <clears throat> I'm, I'm glad I um, f uh, refocused very, very well for the tie break. And I think I, I played well there. And um, yeah, uh, as well, I felt start of the second set, it was a little bit more in my hands. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I won again in two sets. Okay. Thank you very much. Questions? Willie? Willie Weinbaum from ESPN, congratulations. Thank you. You're getting very experienced at this. How would you describe what it takes in matches, on the practice court, in the gym to advance at majors? Um, it's a lot of work. At the majors, it's good that you always have a day off. So I'm trying to use that and um, get some little practice and uh, as well refocused for another match. Um, yeah, basically, it's it's very, it's all the day, days are kind of same. Uh, coming to the club, little practice, get ready for the match, playing match, then day off. Um, all the treatments and um, yeah, just preparation for another one. Just one follow up. What are your thoughts on the physical and the mental grind as you go through the tournament, but also the accumulation of all the months of preparation? Um, physical, I like majors because you have this this day off, so you can uh, you can get more ready and uh, the body can settle down a little bit, so you have more time uh, to recover. And um, mentally, oh, well, with uh, winning matches, you, I, I get some confidence, so I feel better and better on the court. But as well, then you feel a chance you can do do great. So there is a pressure as well, but. Um, yeah, I mean that's that what it what, what, what it takes and uh, it's natural kind of thing for tennis. Court. Uh, Courtney Wendt, WTA. Congrats, Carolina. Thank you. Um, you have a great strike rate at slams once you get past the first three rounds. <laughs> once you're in the round of sixteen, pretty pretty money to get into the the, the, the business end of the tournament. What do you think? That it, why do you think that is? Is it like getting the nerves out, getting your rhythm, you're hitting your confidence streak now? Um, I think uh, I think now lately I'm I'm playing pretty solid as well on the other tournaments and I uh, yeah just uh, I think I have a few good matches under the belt and that helps. Uh, I feel good on the court, so. Um, yeah, it's always tricky to play the first match of the major or, or of any tournament. But uh, yeah, once you get past that, you feel I feel a little loosened up, and um, um, yeah, I feel I feel great on the court now. Andrew, Andrew Jones, ESPN, and Skate. Congratulations, Carolina, Thank you. on the win. You had that great embrace with Taylor at the net, and talk about your bond with her, with how not only you two have dynamic all-court games, but really share a genuine friendship. And if you and her are going to go to a Beyonce concert soon, with how you're part of the Beehive. And how you felt about that? <laughs> yeah, we met there. Uh, I mean, Taylor is the one I always chit-chat a little bit in a, in a locker. She's a very nice girl. So, um, yeah, we, we, we talk a uh, talk just fine and uh, again uh, she she has a great game and uh, she's funny so we we talk here and there and uh, yeah that's probably what I would I would say I, I wish her the best because I like uh, the game she plays it's very similar to mine so that's that's what I as well told her at uh, at the net and uh, yeah she's bringing the fire now so I hope she keeps going and how much did you enjoy the renaissance tour do you have a favorite uh, Beyonce song and if she needs a guitarist like you in the future <laughs> Um, I think all concert was, uh, you know, the Beyonce when she walks, she is, she just has that confidence and uh, um, it was a nice, nice show and uh, we danced a little bit and enjoyed it a lot. So I don't really have a favorite song. We basically uh, went for any that that she she was um, she was singing. So uh, she has unbelievable voice. So it was a really really nice time there. Howard. Um. <clears throat> I was going to ask about 
Beyonce, but <laughs> not, going into not anymore. Uh, <laughs> Howard Fenrich with the Associated Press. Uh, we're, we're pretty deep into what is a long season. There aren't a ton of breaks. There's not a big off season either. By the time you get to now, usually in general, would you say it's more of a uh, is the accumulation of fatigue maybe? harder from a physical standpoint or a mental standpoint? Um, for me personally, uh, I think I'm now like a month on the on the road in America in the uh, for me it's maybe more mental because I really miss uh, miss uh, my home. So uh, yeah that's um, that's probably what it is but it's my job and uh, you know, I'm uh, here in the uh, fourth round of U.S. Open, so I can't complain. I'm I'm really happy to be here. Uh, yeah, with the matches as well, the physical um, part, the body feels it, feels the uh, the work. But um, yeah, it's what's this job and and tennis? What it's about? Just to balance it. I have great people around me here, my team. I uh, like those guys a lot. So. Uh, that's that always helps it. I think that uh, we have a lot of fun in in um, outside of tennis as well. So that helps a lot. And then, sorry, just to follow up on that last part. And there's time for that. There, you can do that during the grind of the tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. We always after match we we have dinner together. So we go somewhere to the city and have some fun and uh, you know joking big time. And just to loosen up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Carolina, congrats. Kate Thank Walsh, you. Washington Post. Um, you mentioned Taylor's game. I, I wonder what you felt like her strengths were um, playing her today. And then playing someone who is kind of similar to you, is how is that different mentally to kind of refocus or maybe change your execution mid-match? Oh, uh, yeah, I was expecting her to play this. I was ready uh, that she is going to come to the net a lot. Uh, so... Yeah, I knew she's gonna do that, and I was just um, getting as well from the start used to the court a little bit, and uh, to the different rhythm. Yeah, it's it's way faster, and then we got actually more into rallies, and I as well felt there that I'm, I felt pretty confident from the back today. So I, I uh, felt like I don't need to come to the net that often as I usually do. Um, but I think after that set, uh, we played. Um, I started to as well, when, when she was coming to the net, um, my shots were more uh, into the court than, than uh, I was missing by inch the, the first set because, yeah, it's it's fast when someone goes to the net and then you have to uh, think really fast where you go and, and to have a right shot. And I think uh, in the second set, I felt way more comfortable doing that than, than in the first. Court, last question. When you um, you mentioned like kind of um, you were feeling comfortable at the back of the court today and you were you were hitting it well, I'm curious when you take the court or you start a match and certain shots aren't on, right? You realize that uh, forehand's not working great or the slice isn't. What is your problem solving tactic generally? Is it to keep going to it to kind of get it into rhythm? Is it to back off of it? Uh, mm, it's for sure to play the more to get the get the right shot, get the rhythm. I know it's it's there. It's not like off, but just to to feel it more and and uh, usually it's just uh, to do everything faster for me because I'm some I'm <laughs> a little slow from the start. So for me it's uh, yeah do like a footwork and uh, and go faster as well with a with the arm. So that's usually how I uh, kind of try to solve it.